Hey YouTube, and a special shout out to your Shopping Kaki readers who some of you may or may not know me as the original creator of YSK. Now I have some news to share with all of you. I recently got engaged, yay! Which brings me to the vlog of rings and DIY wedding invitations. So Darren, my fiance, proposed the day after 4th of July, which normally I would say 5th of July, but 4th of July is Independence Day here, so <clears throat> he proposed the day after Independence Day. And he got this ring for me. It's a rose quartz ring, and I think it's really pretty and unique, which I'm really glad that it is because of the non-conformist streak of me. As for Darren's engagement ring, we got it from tungstenrings.com, which specializes in high-quality tungsten engagement rings, wedding rings, and... Um, just regular rings for men and Darren thought the idea of a tungsten ring was really cool because of how durable the quality is, how durable the metal is. So here it is, a quick review of the ring. And this is the ring that he got, just a basic custom fit tungsten ring. And for this ring, um, they're on sale now so it's only about $100 her ring and because our <laughs> because our wedding pants are taking quite a bit of time to arrive because we're getting customized fingerprint bands from brentjazz.com so these tungsten <laughs> so this tungsten ring will do a great job for now as his engagement ring and last but not least because I found out that the average cost of a wedding in the U.S. is $26,000. I thought it would be a really fun challenge if we could keep our wedding to 1.5K and below. So to start off with, I decided to make the wedding invitations by hand instead of buying them. Because wedding invites can be surprisingly costly. And I like arts and crafts, so this is an example of what our wedding invitations look like. This one is to Sharon and Conrad. I got little printouts of mason jars and wrote the names of the guests on the labels. And I printed out the map of the chapel where we're having it. Just a simple printout of a map. And on the card itself, I got these colored note cards from Target. So they came in big boxes. And I printed out little pixel hearts and a little caricature of us I had commissioned a while back, like years ago. So I'm repurposing that for our wedding. And um, then I, I'm going to cover our phone number so it doesn't go on YouTube. But yes, I cut out little wedding dresses that I drew onto white paper and pasted it on the card. So there it is, customized wedding invites. All for a cost of five dollars and less. <laughs> yes, so that's me being cheap and trying to be bright on a budget. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will try to update again with more videos about wedding planning and possibly a video of the wedding. Thank you for being such loyal readers to your shopping kaki, even though I've been so busy with school, but Thanks to great guest bloggers like Cynthia and Wayne, the blog has been kept alive. <laughs> See you guys! Hey guys, it's me! <laughs> Which brings me to the vlog of rings and DIY. Yeah,